All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. And today what we're gonna do is the letter flow tutorial. This is a video that has been requested by a lot of you guys. Finally, um, let's jump to it. So for this video, pretty much with letter flow, you really have to start with the basics. Letters, remember that there's already like a natural and an organic form and flow with them. To really start your letter flow and letter structure is really go back to the basics and um, sort of start at the root of the letters. So an A, you can say, is formed of rectangles. Another example is like an M. So an M, you know, we can make it with rectangles like this. And when we do that, this really helps with the letter flow, the letter structure of our letters to really get the basics down. Before you start moving on to more advanced stuff, you start adding more like whips, arrows, you know, little doodads here and there. You really wanna get the basics down. So with a lot of letters and even like an E, you'll see that there's a very rectangular basic structure to them. So what, what, what we wanna do is really take the structure and experiment with that. So with a throwy, what you wanna do is instead of like bombing, making it real hard edged, uh, what we could do is soften the edges by rounding them out. So for example, like a throwy A, uh, rounded out would look something sort of like this. Yeah, little A right there. Little teardrop. Instead of doing like a very rectangular, sort of like sharp cornered style of letters, uh, with this basic structure, we could also alter it and make things rounded like for throws. So with an M, so with an E, we'd probably do something more rounded. Um, and you could experiment like lowercase letters and capital letters. With an E, you could do it both ways, sort of like this. make him a little angry, or you can make a capital. And again, rounding out a lot of these edges to give it that throw style. I think what it's a good thing for a lot of you guys to do is to practice the basic structure, practice like the basic letter form for all your letters. So now moving on to more advanced stuff. So once you get like your A down, just a, a real good basic letter form, and you got like your throwies, your tags, um, your bombs, like everything. What you can start doing now is really start to have fun with a lot of uh, the simplicity of the letters by exaggerating certain parts, um, you know, whipping things out, chopping things up, you know, having things go from left to right, beveling things, ripping things, adding more color splashes, like however you wanna play with fill-in designs as well, and your dimensions. I guess I would do like an A. I'll piece one up for you guys here, and then we'll, jump into VR. I'll do a capital A and a lowercase a. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is transition to a lowercase a.
All right, so there you guys have it. So here pretty much is like a piece style of a capital A and, and a lowercase a. Just as like a quick example of some piece letters. Yeah, with enough practice, you guys could eventually start whipping things around. So like here with my capital A, instead of just like a straight letter, like as it is here as in a rectangle and like a curved way, here I like add a little curve, you know, add a little whip with an arrow, have it bring coming down to like a sharp point and just like really just all these things going on that I'm able to, I guess, sort of like derive on because I started with the basic structure and you just sort of like branch out from there and start playing with different styles. Um, but now let's jump in VR and show you guys how it looks with spray cans. Mm -hmm.